all playoff standings where either of these teams could find themselves here. The Shock need a win here. If not, they actually will yeah. potentially fall below the Gladiators in terms of the... Still the Shock in control of the point. So long periods of time, both teams controlling the point. And perfect response there to the Javelin Spin. Hardy going to try and charge him, but takes a face full of damage now. The Discord Orb on one as well. Immortality filled in play. It's going to be removed by Admiral who finds yet another kill. The Lucio is going absolutely wild. Hardy swinging for the fences here, able to get rid of Finn, and it's just Mikey on his own. Orissa, not nearly as scary when she's on her lonesome. Disrupted. Violet down to Sparker though. Chiming in at the start of the fight. Now the overclock in play. Finn fall into a fire strike as well. And now there's no backline left for the shock. This goes from bad to worse and gets compounded even further now as the shock get turned into a bunch of orange pretzels. 97% and counting here. Striker against the Reinhardt. That tactical visor just doesn't seem to have the bite to back the bark. And they're putting at the shot. Sparking to get full value until he commits to the corner of uh, the point here. More for Landon where he was tucked in there and Sparker takes Mikey's head off. Huge high value kill on the enemy Winston there. He might be hacked but he can drop and look for the health pack. He's shut down though. Finn really standing tall on that Zen. It's about time though that the shot get here onto the point. 92 plays 9 out of it. It can be three kills where there otherwise wouldn't have been one. Here's that sound barrier but Sparker doesn't get it at all and Mikey's able to take him down. Somehow, Landon not able to catch him with that ability. This is getting diabolical now for the Spitfire. They got nothing to work with in the shock. Able to win consecutive fights, even at an old disadvantage. That is no mean feat and a well-earned second round for the shock. So after trying with some wrecking ball composition, shatter, and of course, crucially, a blizzard here. Mikey can't really block this shatter outside of line of sight, getting up in the face with uh, oh, sure. that fortifier. So keep an eye out for it. The good goal. little boop, good little boop. It's actually only Mikey getting caught by that. He goes gold. Hardy's not able to knock him over. Striker, face first, fire strike, and Hardy somehow bends his hammer around the corner and caught a striker. Uh, and and uh, striker ends up using the blizzard during that. So uh, don't have that blizzard for like an yeah, as I mean, Violet doing everything he can to keep this team up. Striker trying to maywall himself off in a corner. Yeah, some players coming back off the spawn here for the shot because you see Proper gets in the mix. Yeah, and it's not going to be enough though. Violet meets the broad end of Hardy's hammer. The Oshada claims him. San Francisco, stay calm. Is the game plan with the Diva right? Be peel oriented, somewhat defensive, fairly sequential as you scale up your control of the map. And that's a great opener. Admiral now is out of the picture here. Mobility severely compromised for the Spitfire, who are struggling to stave off this lumbering assault. Yeah, as you've kind of gotten Finn up here on the high ground with the Zenyatta, I mean, the Discord not able to even get back and recontest. So really good offense here from San Francisco. And I think you see there at the start, like the Reinhardt obviously can't access some of that high ground. Uh, no ability to do so. He's self-destruct just to get another back. Played here, Striker hack, but can still swing this thing around. And so he does. Lennon's immortality field was dealt with by that. He'll fold back around a corner with Hardy out of the picture here. Ooh, it is go time. Wait, what? Striker, not sure how he finds backbone with uh, the headshot there. That so that is uh so Striker is actually deflecting. Sparker with the overclock oh. shot into Striker deflecting. And San Francisco maybe feel like they had no choice, but they've lost that ultimate now. It's expired from the only two that it was applied to in the first place. And here comes Sparker. Looking mighty scary here. Violent pressure on that high ground. And of course, Sojourn's going to be nasty once she builds that charge. Quick translocate out there by Sparker. And the Shocker running on fumes. And even those dissipate like a fart in a field. After a set period of time. That one obviously is fine. I, I guess. Ooh, proper. What a frosty reception he receives from Backbone. An Iceborne lobotomy. That's brutal. Yes, uh, Violet's still up there on the high ground where... That's what I thought that you would use the... Like, a London rotates around and maybe tries to, like, force players off of the high ground, like, thinking they're a threat, but there's really nothing going on over there. Sparker now gets on the high ground, though, with the overclock, as that's going to be useful. Able to pick up two, gets a kill on a proper here at the end, as this will get the payload moving. It's a tough job. Safely, I'd say, even with the card in play. Here's the EMP, though, and Landon is in trouble. Can't keep himself alive. Okay, so next on the docket is a potential sound barrier here, but the Blizzard is first for Backbone. He's thrown it straight to the card, but he's low. The damage coming in from the high ground is just too much, and Spike Strike is able to finish the job. It's the sound barrier that the Spitfire were waiting for. The SS Spitfire, though, sprung a leak, and even Admiral having trouble steering them in the right direction. Hardy's going to be brought down. Another one for Proper there. Unbelievable. 14-9 and nine goes Proper in that map and San Francisco
pressure on it. They're not really worried about like even kind of sending shots his way. So he's just putting his damage down onto the Rhine. That's a nice shot though. And roll down here. Nicely done. Proper's able to pick him off. Two kills for him. Sparker eventually going to shut him down. That's enough though. San Francisco shock. They uh, now they would have went in. Yeah, here's the MP. I'm surprised he ended up using it even with the players down. Harding there. Yeah, I'm going to get shut down. I think you know, for shock say, we'll use this transcendence if we can turn it into a fight win and, and more ult charge coming out. So in for a sight. Huge in a fight like this. Spark it down. Proper finds his head. And ooh, Admiral has to be careful. And Major in play, but no one has the goal to use it when there is a Widow on the hunt. Nicely done there, Kilo, finishing off Hardy, but another headshot coming out from Proper. And I'll give you the read on how he's looked in this round so far. Yeah. I mean, 42% scoped critical hit. Oh, watch out! Bastion trying to go for it here. Mortality field with perfect placement, and Finn helps the rest of his squad burn Hardy down. Admiral trying to get his hands dirty here, but unfortunately, it's just the viscera of the Spitfire littering the battlefield after the shock are done with them. A bastard. Uh, absolutely nothing but, you know, uh, garbage time. 3.55 on the clock though, Matt, you are correct. Primal here, can he catch Spark at Kaluj? Ops not to invest any further, the Shatter comes in from Hardy. Kaluj doesn't have any swings with the Primal left to disrupt him, but his presence is enough to force Hardy away from that fight. And so there's no real follow-up on the Shatter at the end. Yeah, is this all how the Shark to end up taking the lead? And they still have some big ultimates to kind of get. Speaking of which, Robot is on the move. Deflect the fire strike there. Blade came out, but very little to do with it. Instantly blown up as the EMP came in. The rest of the shock likely to get folded here, and they do. Still a lead now for San Francisco. They had about 30 meters to their total in that push. Right behind Violet there, getting ready to use it. It's perfect. It's just sublime. The Transcendence does get there somehow, but it's not enough to keep Violet in the fight. Kilo now needs to go big here. And the Immortality Field, though, stands in his way. Thumbing its nose at him, but he's able to pick Hardy off at the very least. Now he'll work around. Not, well, he's on the safe side of the Ant Matrix, but not the safe side of his own team. This Spitfire come forward, Matt, and you pointed it out perfectly that EMP was the linchpin. been enough. Immortality Field throw it down, but who's going to be? Oh! Papa's Blade is shut down! That is a backbreaker here for the shock. They've lost all their key players now, and in overtime, the Spitfire get over the line. What a comeback in the final moments, and Proper gets absolutely blown to smithereens as the Spitfire. Hardy into position. He's charging, though, so trying to overcome that mobility limitation in lieu of a Lucio. Pulse bomb here, the timing, perfect. Backbone emerges from his frozen chrysalis into an explosion. Yeah, pretty good percentage here, though, game uh, by London. Going to get it to about 70%. Everything fell apart when they lost Admiral at the start. Plays for the Spitfire. Toby topped up nicely. Still waiting for Striker to find blood. Finn going down first, who's landed. He's given enough space to find a key kill across the map here. I mean, it's a too late here for Spy Striker, honestly. Just the one elimination, it's Hardy. And now he has to face the entirety of the London Spitfire. Just not enough, Matthew, as London outlasts the shock here in this first round. End up getting control of the point. You still have Admiral here and on a flank. It looks like they're landing. And Backbow now has moved on to the point. They got to with this. They want to try and fight. Kalush is caught. Backbone goes into Ice Block. The Spitfire flipped the point back. Proper has to play from the, the vestiges of the point right now. and doesn't have a great target with the sound barrier in play. He's trying to work Backbone down, and the hack was there. Ice Block wasn't available for the Mace, so it is going to be the kill. Hardy there. Coming back off spawn. It's going to take a while, though. Proper stands on the point now. Yeah, but to get rid of that Immortality Field of the Spitfire. So close, but there's most of that pressure. Immortality Field goes down, Sparker leaves it, but Hardy falls to strike his Tracer. The Spitfire here have to find a way to break back in, but Kaluj is so low, they're trying to chase him down. Immortality Field trying to keep him alive. Kaluj is still standing somehow. I can't believe they've kept him up. Violet drops in with the extra healing, and San Francisco are going to take it to a third round. Oh, he held pack, but there's just no support for him there. So he goes down. This will extend the Shock's lead. Say, it's a lot of percent for the shot. Been catching Sparker on bodies at this. Yeah. Yeah, again, maybe uh, just realizing how close they are to winning. Maybe need to take a moment just to bring some capture percentage. But Backbone's being forced out of the fight. Kalush suffering the same fate here. He'll have to go away. And Feet actually wins the 1v1. That is big. Hardy charging off the point. He knew the sound barrier was coming. 
London don't have the point yet, though. That's the problem. And now a stick on Hardy. Strike is able to bring the Titan down. Admiral can't do anything about Kaluj. And London have let this one go. It slips through their hairs like sand. And the San Francisco shock finish in style. It's a shutout on the last round of the Spitfire. Can't get their act together. And it takes so long for something to develop there. For the...